Hey everybody, and welcome back to the channel, State of Charge. I know that it's been a while since I've done a video, but life has been crazy. Kids graduating, I've got a couple videos on what it's been like for seniors to go through the pandemic. But in this video, I'm gonna come back to a video that I did a couple weeks ago on how to use your iPhone as a webcam using Zoom or Google Hangouts or some other type of web meeting technology. Now with that video, I've had 10,000 views on it so far and so with my channel, that's quite a bit. There's been some questions, particularly about not being able to get the virtual camera working. Now that is something that's very simple to, to do, but I'm not really gonna focus on that in this video. I'm gonna focus on the update to Zoom. Just this last weekend, Zoom has mandated an update to 5.0. So I've not updated yet, and we're gonna dive right into this right now, and we're gonna see what happens updating to Zoom and the iPhone as my webcam. So let's do that right now. Okay, so let's go to our applications window here, and let's open up Zoom and let's see what happens here. So let's start a meeting and it does say update required. So that is good. So let's go ahead and update this to 5.0. And one thing that I've noticed right here off the bat is it is going to enable virtual camera support, which was the issue that we were having beforehand with the previous versions um, that Zoom was not allowing virtual cameras, which Epoch Cam is in essence a virtual camera and that's how we're able to get that into Zoom. So let's go ahead and do this update and we'll install that here. Let's go through this process of installing and let's go ahead and see what happens. Oh, perfect. All right, close. So let's go ahead and relaunch Zoom. And let's see what video options we have here. And I do have Epoch Cam right out of the gate. Now I don't have Epoch Cam on right now because I'm filming with the camera right now. So what we are going to do is I'm going to pause this. I'm going to plug in the phone. We're going to use it as the webcam. We're going to screencast and we're going to see if this works right out of the gate with Zoom 5.0 or higher an epoch cam with your iphone as your webcam let's do that now okay let's go ahead and launch the epoch viewer and there it is let's go ahead and get that going oh there we go all right we can see my camera so let's go ahead over here back to zoom and let's start video, let's use the Epoch, let's turn it on, oh my goodness, look at right there. I didn't even have to do anything, guys. I mean, literally, all I do is have my phone plugged in with the USB cable, uh, I've got the Epoch software on the phone, um, I have the Epoch viewer, we updated zoom to 5.0 which now supports virtual cams and so now right out of the gate we're able to use zoom and our iphone as a webcam so this is a great update to that last video where there was some steps that we had to go through to make this happen well we don't have to do that now so that is super exciting so Hey, I hope this video was uh, relevant to you here on this channel. We focus on three things, solar power, web technology, and life stories. 
If these are things that are interesting to you, like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next video. Bye.